I'm just kind of curious what you think could be a big surprise for the next year or two that people aren't talking about, or it's a worry, or something um, that maybe you haven't gotten to, but you hope to get to. Um, and, and maybe we'll start with uh, Michael. Is that something you, you care to talk about? Or yeah. do you, is your roadmap pretty fixed? I think the, um, I, I, for us, I, uh, the, on the, the promise and what, what's going to happen with AI, I'd say is sort of uh, uh, like high, high, high variance. And I'd, I'd say what we um, expect versus market expectations is there's a lot more, uh, there are great uses for AI. Yeah. Um, but this, you know, in the last uh, several decades, there's been, uh, it, but what is the right use in, in some of the problems we're talking about? And you can't throw everything. So I, I, I think the increasing sort of trend is like, hey, throw everything in a big model and the model will solve everything. That's what we sort of see expectations going. Yeah. Big model solving everything, LLMs, all that stuff. That's just not, that's not true for a lot of the problems that we've been talking about. It's a useful tool yeah. in some of the steps, in the hundreds of steps, cleaning tech, whatever it is. But uh, mixes of data, large and small, how do you learn from few samples, how do you encode human intuition, those are the things where uh, just the, are, it's a complementary to, but absolutely not going to be replaced anytime soon by, by, by these sort of LLM models and, and, and things that people are uh, hoping will be a you know, one-stop shop for uh, all, all your modeling needs. Make, make, makes complete sense. And so with just a few minutes left, I may cut you guys off, so make it real, real quick on it. And, and this can just be a speculative prediction. Um, Kurt, how about you? Um, to build on Mike's point um, even more fervently, uh, I think data structure advances over the next 18 to 24 months uh, will render uh, companies like NVIDIA to be the biggest shorts in the market. Um, the, a num the amount of glass that was laid in 1999 by Corning didn't get lit up until 2007. That's what's happening in chip and sort of uh, compute infrastructure. Um, I think that the, the whole space is upside is going to be upside down in the next 18 to 24 months due to small language models and uh, the drive to better entity structure. And I think uh, with AI, you know, data and compliance, right? Compliance is going to play a huge role with you know uh, AI technology advancements. Uh, I think I'll be curious to see how uh, we adapt with it. And I think uh, it's it's really important to have an open mind. There's a lot we don't know what we don't know. So uh, I think we want to have an open mind. We want to learn. We want to adapt. Uh, and we need to pivot if we need to. So yeah. yeah. What I'm spending a lot of time thinking about is the. AI risk event that's the equivalent to a cyber event and how we manage that. Mm -hmm. So we've started to see small events, but think about that at scale and how do the regulators deal with that? How does the company deal with that? So I'm spending a lot of time developing programs for AI incident response at scale. And I think we are going to see a lot of that. I think people have moved way ahead of themselves in deploying particularly Gen AI that's both internal facing and consumer facing. And we haven't even started to see some of the downstream negative impacts. It doesn't have to be an AI. What, what worries me is that it doesn't have to be an AI issue. We had in healthcare, we had a, um, a major um, data provider um, cyber attack um, that, ch that changed, that created a huge level, the full regime shift in healthcare data because they lost a lot of data other company, other data providers, other vendors were able to, um, you know, the, the, the flow of patients went through other, other, other channels. Yeah. Um, so how am I supposed to create a, a repeatable process yeah. um, when the data itself might not be um, representative of the past or the future? Available, yeah, and then how do you document that and, and assure? So, you know, you're right, there is gonna be some data and compliance issues, and I just think that sector is so focused on whether or not there's gonna be regulations that they're not really figuring out how to adapt their processes, make them repeatable, scalable, efficient, and cost-effective. So I spend all my time thinking about that. 